Now, Uruguay defeated Portugal 2-1 in the second game of the second round. Uh, Edison Cavani was the difference maker, really. The first goal comes from very early on in the game, when it was still very open. Suarez just, just never gave up. He was a machine throughout the game. He had high energy and was pressing and pressing, and he put pressure on the Portuguese defenders. Brilliant cross and Cavani. He, he, started, the, he started the move. Um, and he moves very well off the ball, ghosts in on the far post, and that is a bullet of a header. Really, Patricio has no hope of stopping that, um, because that is just pure power behind that header. But his move, he starts the move, the long ball, crossfield to Suarez, uh, and he and he makes the run. Um, brilliant goal on the counter attack. Brilliant. Now, for most of the game, Portugal had much possession. They were dominating the, the, the pace of the game, the play. Uruguay still had their threat on the counter-attack, so you could never count Uruguay out on, on the counter-attack. Um, but they were doing a lot more defending than Portugal. That, lead, that leads to Pepe's goal at the beginning of the second half. Again, a headed goal. We haven't seen many headed goals at this tournament, but, but, but Pepe is probably one of the best defenders in the box going forward for corners and free kicks when it comes to heading the ball. He's got a very, very accurate, powerful header. Proven again today. It's the first goal that Uruguay concedes in the World Cup. He heads it back across Maslera. And that, that came from a sustained bout of Portuguese pressure at the beginning of the second half. Not long after that, I mean, we're talking like six minutes. Cavani uh, gets his second and the winner on 61 minutes. Um, again, long diagonal ball. Cavani controls it brilliantly. Cuts in on his right. Makes an angle for himself. And scores a goal that I think puts Di Maria's and, and Pavard's goals a bit further down. I think with the, the, the length of pass, the way he's watched the ball, controlled it, brought it on his right foot and, and finished it. Um, he really, not only did he curl it, he put some pace behind and power behind that as well, which made it very hard for the goalkeeper to stop. Um, Rui Patricio had no chance with either goal, really. I mean, he's expect well, he had more of a chance with the first, possibly, but the second, he has no hope. Um, Cavani ran his socks off. He, he limped off injured when Ronaldo did help him off the field. Shows a bit of sportsmanship. Uh, so, yeah, Cavani ran his socks off, uh, didn't run himself into the ground, literally, Suarez kept kept going, uh, Godin is an animal marshalling that defence and captain the side now since Diego Lugano is retired, they have some workhorses in this team, they may not be the most skillful, they may not be the most the team with the most flair, but they seem to be one of the more solid teams at this World Cup, they've only conceded the one goal, um, be interested to see what Croatia do tomorrow night, they're, they're, these are two of my sexy picks, I think Croatia are my dark horse, because I think they're my favourites for this. Uruguay, I've always had a, had a thing for Uruguay with, with the style of football they play, which is physical, but a bit of skill, but more physical than, than you would expect from a South American side. Um, there's a little bit of cynicism to some of their challenges, but the team ethic they put in, the team work they put in, the energy they put in, um, pays off. Um, and they've had a good call together with this side now for a couple of World Cups, so they know each other very well. A lot of their players are still actually younger than you think. Um, but the, the, the core has been there since 2010. Um, yes, Diego Forlan has gone. I think Cavani is now, you know, rep has risen up to the level of Diego Forlan. Diego Forlan, for me, was the best Uruguayan player of modern times. Cavani is filling those boots very, very well um, with that roving. Is he on the right? Is he on the middle? Is he on the left? Forlan was interchangeable like that as well, and he's taken on the mantle of Forlan very well. Cavani, two brilliant goals, two different types of goal, both from, I would say, long balls. Uh, one from across, from a long ball that Cavani set up. He starts up the move that he scored the first goal from, and the second one, that really is that roving um, forward. He can change the play on either flank, uh, two-footed, and the, the long ball to him is a thing of, of technical brilliance. Um, and the control and the finish is, I think, one of the best finishes we've seen at this World Cup. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Ronaldo's going home. Messi's going home. Who would have thought that after you know the first two games of the second round? There you go. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your comments below. And there's going to be some big changes happening to the channel that are for the better. So my set has now turned up. So we're going to be starting to build that in the next couple of days. We're going to start building the set and, and, and having a little, little jig around the new set. So keep your eyes peeled on that. We're going to get some new bits and pieces. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll yeah, see you soon.